everybody. Welcome to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I'm Candace Cole. Today we are going to be making a pumpkin pie dip. Yes, a dip that tastes like pumpkin pie. Sounds delicious to me. Hopefully it sounds good to you and that's why you're watching. Um, I've never made this before, so I'm going to try it with you guys for the first time ever. Um, I had come across this recipe because I had leftover pumpkin from those pumpkin pie crescents that we made. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Um, and I was like, I gotta make something out of this stuff. So this only takes a, a cup of pumpkin. So you can actually use the same pumpkin from your pumpkin pie crescent uh, twist to also make your pumpkin pie dip. One can, two recipes. Sounds good, let's make it. So what you're gonna need is pumpkin, one cup. You're also gonna need some powdered sugar. You're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar. You're gonna need one container of cream cheese. You're gonna need a thing of Cool Whip, which I have in my fridge and I forgot to get out, but hopefully you know what Cool Whip looks like. Imagine it right here. Um, and you're gonna need some cinnamon, a little bit, and some pumpkin spice. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take that powdered sugar. I put my two cups into a mixing bowl. If you have one of those hand mixers, it's the sound they make in my head. A lot of things make sounds in my head. Um, you can use that. I don't have one. Maybe I should get one for Christmas. Uh, so we're going to take that powdered sugar and we're going to take this cream cheese and we're going to combine them together. I have a fork, so that's what I'll be using. Okay, I might have to heat this up. It's room temp, but that's not going to do anything. Yeah, that's so much better. What did I do? Just about 30 seconds? Please get yourself a mixer. This isn't even mixing. You need a mixer. It's just playing with it. I don't think I'm doing anything. Be the mixer, be the mixer. Yeah, some of it's disappearing, that's working. Mix, 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 mix. Oh yeah, it's working. I didn't think it was working, but it is. I'm cheering myself on because it hurts my arm. All right, that's, that's pretty good. That's mixed with my arm. I'm so strong. Our next thing we're gonna do is add everything else. Pumpkin, one cup. Next, found my Cool Whip. Whole container of Cool Whip. That's right, eight whole ounces. I love Cool Whip. Whole thing. Mm, save yourself a little. And the rest is for me. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit of cinnamon. I'm just gonna sprinkle some on top. It says a teaspoon. I don't think I used a full teaspoon because I don't want the cinnamon to be overpowering. But for the pumpkin spice, I am going to use one teaspoon of pumpkin spice. You needed this for our other recipe too, the uh, pumpkin twist, so um, you probably have this already if you made that. And mix it all together. <laughs> Invest in a mixer. I don't have a mixer, so I got muscles. I need a mixer, I'd be done. Dum 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 it seems like if you sing that song, um, that's the perfect amount of time to mix your stuff up. That's it. Mix it up. Now let it sit in the fridge. I don't let it get cool about 30 minutes. Give or take a little bit of time. It's up to you. You can let it sit longer. It'd be fine. I am so ready to give this a try. You could dip anything in here. Apples, cookies, graham crackers, marshmallows, puppies, babies. I mean, this can make anything taste delicious. So. I personally am just going to um, eat it with the fork that I left in it. It's really good, guys. Um, creamy, fluffy at the same time. Good taste of pumpkin in there. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, leave me some comments, share this video with your friends. I hope you guys make this because um, it tastes good. All right, guys, see you next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. Bye. It is good. It'd be a little better if I had a mixer. Maybe if more people subscribe, I can afford a mixer.